Yo people, what's up? How are you guys doing? Welcome to the session. Since your exams are already cancelled, I know that you guys are just sitting around and chilling right now, but this is something that I wanted to do for a very long time. And since, you know, we've been always keeping up with the schedule, I never really got the time to, you know, got the time to actually get around, uh, you know, topics like this one, something that I find very fascinating. So welcome to the session. Since your exams are already cancelled, we are here with some amazing, amazing, amazing sessions for you people. So welcome. My name is Anup. And this session here is going to be something... Uh, Hut case, it's not something that we do generally. So, we're going to be talking about the ISS, that is the International Space Station. So, that is what we're going to talk about. So, I hope you guys are excited for this one. I'm going to give you guys as much information as I know. So, we'll try to comprise it in a couple of minutes and try to, you know, understand what exactly it is and why is it so very important. Why does it hold a significance in, uh, you know, in this, uh, in this day and age? Why is it so important? That is what we're going to talk about. So without wasting any time, let's begin. All right, International Space Station. Now, before I get into what is the International Space Station, let's understand the last two words. What exactly is a space station, first of all? Now, a lot of you guys here would have probably watched all these kind of sci-fi movies, right? Like Star Wars and, and what else? And Star Trek and lots and lots of sci-fi movies out there. Now, in all of those, you'll probably be able to see that, you know, they basically, um, you know, they destroy the Earth and then, you know, they go habitat. They basically build a habitat in space and, you know, live happily ever after. So what exactly is a space station? A space station is nothing but, can also be called as an orbital station. So basically, a space station revolves around the Earth holding people in them. So generally, guys, what we have is we launch satellites. Now, these satellites that we launch are unmanned. There are no people in that. In that. But these kind of space station can hold people. Uh, you know, the International Space Station can hold up to six to three people at a, per, at a certain instance of time. So that kind of, what to say, that kind of shuttle or space shuttle, which can hold people, which can house people, where they do experiments, where basically, you know, they are able to understand what is the effect of uh, space on a person. All of that kind of studies are done. The, that is what is called as a space station and that is where the International Space Station comes into existence. So this International Space Station is the biggest by far that we have which uh, you know where about 20 uh, not 20 about 15 different countries have taken part in it and it is something which basically revolves around the earth in what is known as the low earth orbit. So here's the thing guys. Depending on how far the orbit is, obviously, you know, you can uh, revolve around the Earth in whatever orbit you want. So you have three, three different types of orbits. You have the low Earth orbit, then you have the medium Earth orbit and the high Earth orbit. This here is, a, you know, a space station which revolves around the low Earth orbit. So basically, you know, it, it is uh, not that far away from the Earth's surface. So basically, it's about 400 kilometer or 250 miles from the Earth's surface, revolves around the Earth. And, you know, at any given point of time, there will be at least a couple of you know uh, astronauts in the international space station doing some sort of experiments you can actually watch this live you know on uh, youtube if you you know uh, what is it there's this channel where you can actually see what these scientists are doing so it's, it's a way to you know to reach people for an outreach program they can you know they tweet and they do you know post up pictures and all of that again to in, you know to engage the public out there so that is what your international space station is all about so basically it's, it's about 250 miles or about 400 kilometers and in terms of speed it travels at 17,500 miles per hour or about 28,000 kilometer per hour that's a very small number 28,000 kilometer per hour is the speed of the international space station in fact it is traveling so fast that it can go around the earth in just about 90 minutes and in a day if you talk about the distance this is that this international space station covers it's about the distance from earth to the moon and then back from moon to earth so that's how how much distance it covers in one single day and again all in the name of doing some sort of experiments or understanding what effect it has on us in fact if you ever wondered what it is on the inside it is not all cozy and you know it's not like all uh, there are like uh, pictures hanging up everywhere it's nothing 
like that it's you know it's it's jam packed with tons and tons of equipments because we want to make sure that there is no unwanted weight so that is one thing that we have to always consider there should be no unwanted weight so only whatever is necessary is on the international space station lots and lots of different kinds of experiments are being held so you have lots and lots of different kinds of you know what to say stations where they do that type of experiments so you have you know electrical equi equipments to uh, you know uh, what to say insulations to what not everything again we have to maximize the space as much as possible and that is why you see this even though it's it's very narrow it's still jam packed with lots and lots of electrical equipment and that is what it actually looks like it's not some uh, you know it's not like a five star hotel it's actually very uncomfortable uh, you know uh, even though astronauts are, that is why astronauts are so regarded well regarded in the society or you know uh, people give so much importance to them because it's a very uncomfortable thing to do you know staying out there in zero gravity experience you know that has a lot of effect on your body especially your eyes and all that so understanding that uh, even you know understanding all these risks they could even probably end up dying understanding all these risks they are you know what to say they give them 100 percent and end up going there Roughly until 2018, roughly about 230 people have visited the International Space Station. Majority of it is from the US and some of it is from Russia as well. So depending on, so it's, it's not like you can, you can just give money to, uh, what to say, the space station and then buy a seat. It's, ne it's, it's not exactly a, like that. Yeah, it, some, in some ways it is like that. But it's more or less like which country is contributing more equipment. So for example, let's say that India starts contributing a lot more to the International Space Station then yes uh, they would be getting more seats on the international space station so again throughout the year it's always booked so generally uh, you know once an astronaut reaches the international space station they stay for about six months the max uh, you know a, a crew has stayed is about one year about 364 days is what is the you know maximum that they have stayed but again your intention again is to do some sort of experiments and every country wants a part of it you want you know you have the you have nasa you have uh roscosmos that is nothing but the russian space agencies you have the european space agencies the J japanese space agency the canadian space agencies so you have all these agencies you know always looking for a spot and again they are they are doing everything that they can because you know it's not just you can't just uh what to say you can't just give the credit to one country all these countries are contributing in order to make this whole in in fact, if you talk about the parts of the IS, again, again, it's not something which was built in one day. It took uh, to complete the International Space Station, it was launched in 1998. And to complete this International Space Station, that took about roughly about maybe about 11, 12 years. It was completed in 2011. So it was a very, very long, tedious process because you could not launch the entire thing at once. So part by part, it was launched and then, you know, it was attached by the, you know, by uh, either by uh, robotic arms or by people, I mean, uh, by the astronauts. So part by part, we have sent it and it, it's, it's been a very long process and that's how we have reached over here right now. So talking about the parts of the IAS guys, uh, ISS, sorry, IAS, uh, ISS, one is the solar arrays because obviously guys, you cannot carry petrol over there, right? You can't carry one liter of petrol and expect it to run. It's not like, uh, you know, it's not like an auto rickshaw or a car where it runs for 24 kilometers, 30 kilometers and all that. It runs on on solar energy itself. So solar energy is the major and in fact it is the only source of energy that it has right now I'm not talking about the spacecraft itself that is the launch I'm not talking about the, the launch spacecrafts I'm talking about the International Space Station it is powered by solar arrays that is the solar panels the, the solar energy is what is converted to electrical energy for all to run all these electrical equipments that are there anyways there are no clouds so continuously you're getting the sunlight and continuously you know the energy is getting converted um, you know I would say photoelectricity and all of that it's converted to electrical energy as well and like I told you guys there are tons and tons of science labs out there each lab doing different types of experiments uh, some of these experiments might be like what is the uh, can, can we grow different types of plants and what would zero gravity or what would space have an effect on it and uh, you know can, can we grow other than potatoes is there anything else that we can do uh, then uh, what are the effects on human beings because obviously guys uh, under that zero gravity you are facing a lot of you know your body is it's an unusual circumstance right because that is why if you have ever watched all these movies and stuff you can see that you know uh, an astronaut goes through a lot of different process like uh, you know if you just talk about interstellar itself you can see that they do lots and lots of different types of experiments where they have to experience 
you know tremendous amount of force tremendous amount of pressure and still try to stay calm and you know do what they are supposed to do on a regular basis so it is a very very hard job to do it's not something that is easy and yes you have to be obviously knowledgeable you have to be an expert in your subject as well and all of these things that is why only the see out of 7 billion people only 3 to 230 people have had the pleasure to actually go and visit the isis that is up until 2018 since then it would have obviously increased but yes up until 2018 there is this is the number of people that have actually visited it that is a small majority that is a small 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 majority of the world's population so yes you can understand that only the you know only the world only, only the best of the best get to go to the international space station And yes, like I told you, lots and lots of science lab. You have the command center, which is basically connected, uh, which uh, basically talks to the Earth. Uh, I mean, we have uh, control centers in Houston as well as uh, I believe in uh, uh, what to say in Russia as well. Uh, I forgot the name, but yeah, I think it was. Uh, uh yeah i forgot the name of the place anyways so yeah uh, there are two control centers you have other control centers also but these are the two main control center one is in houston that is in uh, texas usa and then we have one more that is in russia i think it's in moscow if i'm not wrong don't take my word for it but yes i believe it's in moscow these are the two major uh, you know what to say command centers that we have so they you know even if they want to go for a space walk that is you know if they want to get out of the shuttle and you know uh, check go for a routine check up or you know to repair as something they have to get the permission they can't do whatever they want it, it does not like that they can't do whatever they want they have to get the permission from the command center to you know go out there or if there's anything any any problem and they need to uh, what to say get out of the international space station probably uh, you know land back on earth so they have to get permissions from all of that and for all of that it is the command center that does so so it's manned 24 into 7 there are people in the command center who are you know con- con- continuously con- contacting them and checking what is their mental health what is their physical Health. So generally, what happens is that they are allowed about two hours of, uh, what to say, two hours of, uh, you know, exercise and uh, for their personal hygiene and all that. And then yeah, the rest of it they work, they eat, they, uh, what to say, they have to study, they have to do their studies, you know, uh, sleep and all of that would be for the rest of the hours that they have. Yes, guys. Then you have the habitat. That is where people stay. They, you know, the communal place and all of that. And finally, the docking port. So the the dock, docking port is the place where the space shuttles would come and dock. So basically, guys. So you know, this uh, International Space Station does not have any major. would say propulsion system it does not have any major propulsion system that can you know that you can move it wherever you want so you have these space shuttles especially the soyuz space shuttle that is by the russians that is the one that carries the people to uh, the international space station and back uh, from the international space station back to uh, back to the earth uh, earth as well so all of that is done by the soyuz capsule it is again soyuz is a, again it's a uh, soyuz rocket or space soyuz spacecraft that is by the russians by roscosmos again they are the ones who basically carry it but uh, apart from that we know that uh, you know right now even uh, spacex is working on its on uh, so working on some uh, on something called as dragon which again uh, would actually reduce the number of seats that nasa would buy from russia to send their astronauts uh, into the international space station so uh, even uh, boeing is also working on it so uh, both uh, what to say space is also working on it and boeing is also working on it so that they don't have to really buy seats obviously you know when they want when, if they want to send an astronaut let's say that nasa wants to send send an astronaut they have to buy seats from this uh, in the soyuz capsule and they have to you know probably schedule it so that they can be launched safely into the international space station so once this comes into ex- existence then they would not have to depend much on the soyuz capsule so it's you know the dependency would be much more lesser on the russian so that is one more thing that you have to talk about so you have the solar panels the uh, columbus destiny soyuz all these are the equipments rooms that you have all of these this is what it actually looks like so yes guys the last thing i would like to talk about is this like i told you it was not a one day thing right it was not it was not like one fine morning all the international all the agencies of the world all the space agencies of the world sat together and decided yes we're going to do this it doesn't work like that so like i told you guys it was launched in november 1998 and for over a decade we have been you know uh, sending in different types of parts 
to try to complete the construction of it and in 2011 was when the construction was completed and it is still going on every now and then new parts are added or the old parts are removed and it is said that this is going to be active till 2024 and then maybe they might extend it to 2028 but after that what is the plan exactly has not been decided yet as of now we have no idea what's going to happen to the international space station but yes this is what the international space station is all about i hope you guys found this interesting i know there was a lot of theory but then yes guys this is the actual fact we all have when you were like when i was a kid too i also wanted to be an astronaut but the actual fact of the matter is guys when you actually get into it you'll understand that it is not as uh it is not as fancy as you see in your uh, uh in your what to say in your sci-fi movies and all that but it's well firm well furbished you have these kind of you know 3d computers and all that popping up everywhere and you have this alexa kind of thing that is okay now nah, yeah anyways so yeah i thought why alexa will turn out anyways so yeah you have it's not like it's all like it's all like you know it's voice commanded and all of that it's actually a lot of manual work it's a lot of you know uh some of these experiment ex equipments are pretty old as well it's not all brand new some of them are old so yeah uh working around it understanding it is something that the the astronauts have they have to take their time have to take the training and then finally do it so it's not all fancy that's what i would like to see so yes people that's about the international space station i hope you guys found this interesting if you did hit the like button subscribe to the channel as well we'll be coming out with lots and lots of amazing content like this for every single uh topics that that are there so yes subscribe to the channel as well i'll catch you guys soon thank you for joining guys see you soon and yes if you want to check out the courses of vidantu you can click in the description and check out the courses as well thank you Take care of yourselves and have a great evening. Bye bye until then. Take care guys. Bye bye.